Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, Mike Krivak here, bringing you another episode of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today we are going to get the Hylian Shield. Uh, this is located in the Hyrule Castle. There's no good way to show you exactly where to go to get to this uh, spot, but what you want to do, if you look at the mini-map, you can go in through the main entrance right here. Uh, get your magnetic rune ready to open this door, because you want to avoid the guardians. There'll be two of them here. If you just jump off this ledge, you can glide down to that cave directly in front. I didn't do a great job here. I hit the water, but uh, just make your way over to this cave. And that'll take you to the... Kind of we're making our way to where the jail is underneath um, Hyrule Castle. So here I'll stop and show you... Try to show you a little more of the surroundings in case you get lost, um, but this is the main mine or cave entrance. <clears throat> it's right off the front of the main entrance to Hyrule Castle. So head in here, there's a couple things you can get in here. Uh, if you break those boxes, I kind of bypassed that. Um, obviously I have the shield in this video. I went back and filmed a little more because um, I took time to explore, but I wanted to show you more of a direct path. So for instance, right here, I'm not going to have the shield anymore. Um, but jump into this cart, um, use your stasis rune, uh, just whack it as much as you can, uh, and it should take you to the other side uh, where you'll eventually get to the uh, entrance of the jail. One hit should be enough to get you all the way. If it's not, you can just uh, use the stasis rune again. Those bats are kind of irritating. I was hoping I wouldn't have to hit it again. I think I barely made it and just kind of popped right off. Yeah, there we go. Then here you're going to see a little break in the editing. Uh, I went back and just want to do a cleaner run, so just go right through here. There's some things in here, that's why I kind of explored for a little bit. Um, but just run right up this hill and keep making your way around. And then you come to the uh, breakable wall here. So. Just get your bombs out, break the wall, and then uh, you should be able to be in the jail now. <clears throat> now I did make a mistake here. Uh, I, I wanted to equip my my master sword, but once you go in, uh, you're gonna want to go to the left. Here I go to the right, and you're gonna see that. Yep, break in editing. Just make a left. Um, I made a right, and there's a bunch of enemies there. Just go left. Um, follow this path all the way down. There should be another wall on your left to break uh, with your bomb. And then once you're in here, um, there's going to be one of those uh, eyes uh, that you can shoot. Uh, you know, the eyes that you probably saw in the Divine Beasts. Um, once you shoot that, this door will open. Just run in, turn left. Just run. Don't even bother to stop to fight this guy because once you go into this next room here, you're going to fight a, a boss. Um, and this door, well, you'll see, he just <laughs> almost got me right there. Um, so you're going to fight this, uh, I think it's a Hinox. Undead High Nox. The easiest way to beat him is just to, oh, it's a Stale Nox. So just use your Stasis Rune, shoot his eye, he'll fall, uh, just hit him as much as you can. Now the one thing that makes this guy different from the regular High Nox is his eye will fall out eventually. Uh, once it does fall out, you have to kill it before he picks it up and puts it back in. Um, so just try to hit as much as you can there. Um, he, it was pretty easy, my Master Sword was powered up. So if you have a high level weapon, this is pretty pretty easy to go through. Um, and that chest right there will have the shield in it. I stopped to check out the weapons here. Um, there's some, they're okay. Um, the weapons I had were better, but there were ones I hadn't seen before, so I picked them up anyway. Um, I think I passed on that one and I got the shield. My weapons were full, so I just cut that part out of the scene. And there you have it. You get the Helian Shield. It's probably the best one in the game. Um, it's not breakable. But um, if it does happen to break, you can go to the town and buy it again. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. I plan on doing a number of different uh, Nintendo videos as the games come out over the next couple months. Thanks a lot, guys.